In a few words, can you explain exactly what blockchain is? At a nutshell, blockchain is a distributed ledger of information that is secure, is actually transparent, and is something all the participants in the network have agreed to. So, so if you think about traditional data of how it's actually stored by individual participants, and no one has any clue on what actually is the information stored by the other party, so blockchain pretty much disintermediates all this, decentralizes all this to make it more transparent. So all the participants are able to share information in a way that is trustful and is something that's been agreed between all the participants. And just to go back a bit, so our view is the way internet transformed data, we think blockchain will transform what we call as trusted transactions. When looking at blockchain, how does it apply to the energy industry and what are the notable benefits? As any new technology, the energy industry always has not necessarily been the earliest adopter. So if you actually look at things like cloud, things like internet, things like e-commerce, most of the time it's some of the other industries that typically tries to experiment with, tries to innovate, and once it's proven, the energy industry takes a lot of notice on. So I think that's pretty much happening in blockchain as well. So this was 2016, where we actually started working with a lot of banks on blockchain. Because blockchain is something that's enabling transactions to be more secure, safe, and very, very efficient. So what most of the banks started doing is trying to actually use that as a platform to improve trust and reduce their operational costs. And once they started getting successful, and we see a lot of blockchains in production, for example, the one with B-Trade, where we have 10 banks on a blockchain, examples of Walmart along with Unilever and eight other companies that are actually using blockchain for improving trust in the food supply chain, the energy industry has now suddenly realized that blockchain is real. And that's something they can adopt in a big way. So we see, for example, in the trade lens platform for blockchain where we have Maersk along with 91 different participants. We have a few energy companies in that blockchain and we have a few chemical companies as well. So we see uh, adoption from the oil and gas companies. And to be very open, we actually are doing proof of concepts with numerous oil and gas companies at the moment. So they are slowly getting more and more aware that this is real and can really provide operational benefits and new business models. So, so we are in a bit of early stages to be very open at the moment. How will energy industry executives use blockchain and how will they transition over to the technology effectively? It's again a very interesting point, right? So, so one is how will they use it? So, so there's an element of operational efficiency that surely plays into this because the way currently they actually manage information, transport information is very, very manual. And, and you will not believe it, most of the systems that are in use have been developed like 20, 30 years back. So there's a big element on operational efficiencies and we have metrics around for big capital projects. You can actually reduce capital cost by up to 3%. And if I'm talking of a $40 billion asset, it's a significant, almost a billion dollar saving that you can bring in. So that surely is there. The second more interesting inf aspect of blockchain and that's what excites the CEOs is the ability to actually bring in new services. So we know some of the big oil and gas company are looking at monetizing blockchain in the retail space and use that as a mechanism of improving loyalty in customers by giving them something that's more transparent and trustworthy and they can actually use that for doing other transactions. So there's an element of reducing costs and new business models that surely enabling. Uh, using blockchain and uh, and that's something that we see as a trend catching up in a big way. Could you tell us more about the IBM blockchain platform and how it is helping the industry? So if I talk to clients, right, so it's a bit about not just internally IBM. So as IBM, you know, IBM is an innovation company. Last 100 years, we have been reinventing ourselves. So let's say 100 years back, we were a big hardware company providing hardware, servers, uh, mainframes to almost every bank, almost every big oil and gas company in the world. We are moved over from there to something we call as an analytics-driven company, where we are enabling clients 
take advantage of analytics and blockchain so that's our internal reinvention so that actually is something that's internally motivated us but from a typical consulting point of view we always look at where the clients are going and we see most of our big clients have a big focus on how do i reduce operational costs how do i now be able to compete with some of the disruptors that exist in their market or other market and this is where we see there's a potential of blockchain so if you think of a small uh, company which actually is the biggest oil and gas company in let's say ukraine they can completely leapfrog some of the leading oil and gas company using new technologies so they don't necessarily have to even move from desktop to laptop to mobile and from desktop they can directly jump to blockchain and get in all the efficiencies of lower operational costs and ability to do new revenue streams out of blockchain so i think so the excitement for me personally is the potential for a client to do things that they never thought before or they thought the technology was not mature to support them so that's really what excites me a lot what have you enjoyed most about gastech 2018 it's, it's almost impossible in one minute to explain what i enjoyed about gastech so 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 really four things so one is i think the number of participants and the level of participants that gastech has been attracting is phenomenal i'm actually able to talk to ceos of repsol ceos of big oil and gas companies who typically don't necessarily attend a lot of conferences so that actually is element of big networking advantage that you get being in gastech and it's almost like a speed dating with ceos which which typically none of the other forums allow second is i'm actually impressed in the way gastech has managed the conference so i think I've, I, I pretty much speak in a conference almost every week, but I think the gas tech management of the way they have actually run this event is phenomenal. And I could actually experience that a lot, the way they have planned session, the way they have conducted it, the way they have been able to share presentations and updates, and they keep sending updates on what's happening in the next few hours. So I think it's, it's very, very professionally managed. That's very, very uh, uh, positive the third aspect is some of the networking events we had like the dinner we had yesterday and the drinks we had where we got to mingle with the participants delegate speakers which i think is very very useful because a conference gives you limited exposure but a lot of the discussions happen when you're actually maybe drinking and having dinner with a lot of these customers suppliers and clients and that's really the third aspect and the fourth aspect is i think being in an environment like Barcelona, I think, does help a lot where you are pretty much away from your day to day office life and you're in a location where it's it's more uh, open to new ideas and new discussions, which I think worked a lot. So in nutshell, all these four things brought in a very, very positive aspect of Gastic.